All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode 10 of Harada Bitter Breath's Adventures in Skyrim. So we we were going to go do a little bit of extra work, um, but we decided not to, and I'd like to show you why. So it's still it's still um, the same day, right? It's nighttime. It's almost 11 p.m. So we're going to sleep really quickly for... Yeah, we'll, we'll do nine hours, right? Just so we wake up at uh, 8 a.m., we can go into the shops and stuff. That in my <clears throat> I'm getting old. Being and amazing. as we were leaving, we got evasion level 48 just like that. Just like that. We, we walk out of our bedroom and we wake up and we're suddenly eligible for a total level, which was pretty hilarious. Um... So we're going to take it, we're going to put it into health, right? All We have a bunch of uh, debuffs here, you can see, because we're hungry. Let's not focus on what we're going to put our perk into. Instead, we are going to... Where is he? Your latest oh, right exploit here. certainly has the sanctuary talking. Here. There he is. The Need something? Yes. I'll teach you how to use it effectively we and want keep you quick on your feet. Two more training levels in evasion. One, two... That puts us up to level 50. And from there, we should now be able to invest that perk that we have into something uh, more, you know, more useful to us, right? With our, uh, let's see if we can find it with our evasion level perks. So we unlock two new perks that we can invest into. Uh, your running melee attacks receive 4% damage bonus for every piece of evasion. You're immune to kill moves. Okay, so... A running, running bonus, right? And I think that's when we're like running and slashing, versus lessens the stamina cost of power attacks by six percent, up to twenty-four percent max reduction. Power attacks we use very frequently because when we go in for like a stealth attack, or even just um. Hmm. Yeah, it would only be with like a uh, held weapons, right? Versus. 16%, does that include bows? Hmm. Either way, I think having the, the stamina reduction for our power attacks is going to be very helpful. It also opens up the ability for us to cast without penalties. So just that right there is already very valuable. Excellent. And we're, um... Holy crap, we are really... Like, that gave us a lot of XP. I was, uh surprised by how much it gave us right we're uh let's see get yeah, candlelight's the other thing that we've been casting to try and get some uh level ups in alteration i believe is what it is anyway i'm going to quickly recap what happened in the last episode that's what we were supposed to do uh before that level up we Joy, you know, we adventured here into the Dark Brotherhood. We checked out everything. We were able to get our light armor or evasion level up very high. We're now a follower of Sith Sithis, which basically I don't think it'll tell us what the uh, the perks are, but you know, uh, kill the innocent, right? Um, cast people into the void. Uh, your sneak attacks do more damage, um, and you have to sac. In order to pray, you have to sacrifice uh, flesh or like human skin. But apparently the wood elf uh, human meat does not count. It has to be like human flesh, the, uh, the alchemical ingredient. I don't really know how to get that. I'll, I'll do a little bit more research. Um, we'll figure it out, right? I'm confident that we'll find a way. What we're going to be doing in this episode is focusing on the three quests that we picked up, uh, three contracts. We also picked up the uh, Clapicus Vile quest is another thing. The dog like approached us as we, right as we exited, like, there you are, and it was like, ah. Oh. So these three quests right here, um, we're probably going to start with Narfi. I imagine that we're gonna travel to Whiterun. So basically we're, um, we could travel south. Nah, I say we take the long way and we'll, we'll head up because it would be nice just to kind of stop into Whiterun on the way there. So we're gonna travel up into Whiterun, then we're gonna travel, we'll probably take the boat, travel back to Riften, drop off a lot of our alchemical ingredients, or pick them up so that we can bring them back to Falkreath. It's difficult to say, we'll have to figure out where our main base is going to be. From there, we're gonna be traveling back up to Windhelm, probably pay off a bounty that we have there so we can continue the Blood on the Ice quest. Uh, kill another person that we have here at a 
an inn and then continue up into the road into Dawnstar to kill a an owner of one of the mines up there. And then we should be able to make our way back down and turn all three of them in. So today specifically, we're going to be exploring Falkreath a little bit more. Um, we have easily a few quests that we can pick up. I know that one of them is for... Oh my goodness, not Clavicus Vile. Um, getting the... Uh, Oh my god, the werewolf ring. I'm completely spacing on what it's called, but basically you started in Falkreath. The da Daedric quest you start in Falkreath that I'm totally just spacing on. Whatever. Uh, Savior's Hide is the name of the thing that we're after, but... There you go. Ooh, beautiful morning, right? Anything we need to put on or take off the horse, right? We have an extra bow that we're just kind of holding on to. The rest of these, most of this is all stolen. We already put all of our ingredients on here, so that's pretty good. Um, God, we're only, we're down to 2,300 gold. That is, like, depressing. So, let's take all of these and see, probably as well as the silver, and because we can sell those as, um, what does word... We, we can turn them into necklaces and sell them. The rest of these I think we'll keep here at least until we can find who is the fence that we can sell them to. Now, these we'll keep on the horse, the plates and the platters we'll keep on the horse, but all of these, because they're worth less than 50 gold, they're ours. They are legitimately ours. And uh, you know what? It looks like the silver bars here are ours too. I'm not really sure how or why, but... We'll keep those on the horse for until we find a better use for them. So we'll head into town and explore a little bit and see what we can find. One of the things that we'll definitely do is come over here and harvest all these because they're free. Remember that. Here for uh, free samples, right? Let me know if you see anything you like. Sure. <laughs> we were just trying to move around her. What's she got? Nothing. Call she upon me if I can be of any service. She ain't got nothing. Free death bell. Uh... Oh, okay, it's not letting me take any of those. But browse as much as you like, please. Uh huh. Uh huh. Raw salts, fire salts, normal salts. What else we got here? Hag. Oh my God, she has like a bunch of hag raven claws. Visibility. Most of those aren't worth too much. I'll take the jasper grapes though. Oh, almost missed another thing of frost salts. Nice, nice. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to take a look. Hello. Oh. Doesn't have very many exceptional potions here. Gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed. Let's head down to the graveyard here, see what's going on. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence, that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal, and in the end, peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Hmm. A sad time. Can I have your crops now? That's, uh, who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. Oh. Uh. 
Who d or how how did she die? She was. He ripped her apart, like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Wow, who who did that? Sending. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? What the heck's the old man doing in the back? Um... Take a look. Let's see. Yellow mountain flowers. These are exceptionally rare, so we're just gonna buy all of them. Um... And then the water breathing effects of these, we'll take all those too. So at least... I just don't understand what kind of man does that. You know, at least at least you have a little bit more gold now. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. Uh, can... Are you a restoration trainer? I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. Oh, nice. He is a restoration trainer. Uh, this is actually great because we... We want level 25 restoration so that we can get our level high enough so that we can do, um... Sun... Sun... Bolt, or whatever it's called. Yeah, we'll throw the, the last three levels into there, just because we're kind of low on gold. So. Um, cool. Life is right. far too short, my friend. Don't waste it. What you. a display of color. Maybe she Can has some look? ingredients, too. Uh, garlic. I mean, garlic is valuable, but usually our limiting, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, limiting thing is the thistle branch. So, oh, more bees we can eat. Really? We've we've never tried like beehive husks? Kinda of surprised. And uh where are those what is it, the the yellow yellow flowers down here, right? Ah, interesting. Okay. Ugh, arcade. I mean, twenty five points of health is is nothing to, to laugh at, right? Let's see if there's anything I might be able to uh, borrow from here. Oh, he's sitting down. No, and then he sat down facing this way. Dang. Dang, dang. What a clever old man. They still see me back over here. What's that? The Doors of Oblivion? Hermaeus Mora. No. That's a little suspicious. Poor guy. Mm. Suspicious. Yeah, I think it's through the barracks? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Man. Best area of Skyrim, huh? Steal this. Alright, yeah, I was like, I thought I saw something else. Will they all go out for lunch or something? Not that I'm complaining, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> no, they're all just up here. Anyway, yes, here it is. The jail. I think this is the right place, right? No? Yes. Until next time. Shit. Here, hold on, hold on. I know what come, we can do. Come, I haven't got all day. Here, I'd like to give you a gift. Need something? Um, oh my god, we can release a bee at him? Shoot, okay. We have two options here. We can either release a bee at him, or we can give him some lock picks. What do you think we should do, chat? What do you recommend? Should should we should we torture the prisoner or should we give him the tools? B? Alright. We'll release a bee. I saw you do that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Harada would be him. 
That is such a weird random thing. You can just like release bees at people. <laughs> All right. Who's so here's who's this guy down here? Looks like this is him. Good morning. It seems kind of pleasant. Come to gawk at the monster. Uh, I heard you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersey. Hersey, that's his name. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Hersey didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. Hmm. What kind of transformation? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. Um, I mean, we know who Hercene is, but Do who's not Hercene? know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt. He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals, a powerful force not to be crossed as I learned too late. Hmm. Good advice. Um, what will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free um i'll take it oh my you would do this for me here take it i, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore seek out the beast he wanders these woods bring him down and uh, the lord of the hunt should smile on you i wish you luck but you leave here while i still have my skin should our paths cross again I will remember your kindness. Farewell. <laughs> oh. So we, we take it, as we take it into our hand, it slips onto our finger and we're like, and then we look down and see him transforming into a werewolf. What the hell? Ah. Ah. Oh, we got, of course, we have to do a little save out of it. Um. Where is it? Curse Ring of Hercene causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. Okay. Ill met by moonlight. Ah! City's quiet enough now. But when the sun goes down, you best keep on your guard. <laughs> All right then. You talk to us again? Mm -hmm. Need something? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry for releasing a bee at you. We're gonna do another one. I saw you do that, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh. So what we're gonna do? Oh, what are we gonna do? What is? What the heck? Oh, it doesn't have it active as our uh, as our quest. I see. How far away is this beast here? Up the hill. Why don't we go hunt? This should be fun, right? It'll be a fun little part of the quest. We're gonna go hunt this beast. Because we have this ring stuck to our hand, and we're like, Grr! that's not what I wanted. So we're gonna go hunt down the, uh, whatever beast this is, right? A guard. Like, Who's that? Um, oh my god, you know what we can totally do?
You just pickpocket this guy. He doesn't have anything really good, though. I guess he has a great healing potion. Uh, oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ah! Nope, we're heading right up there to take them out. Ooh. And I think we took out the other person, right? By knocking them off the bridge. Probably should've just come this way. Nice, excellent. That was pretty good. Why, why can't I get off my horse? Okay, we'll do a quick save. Look at the friggin' arrow in the foot of my horse. I don't understand what's going on here. I can't get off my horse. What's going on? I mean, like, you can hear the noise that it's making, but it's just not doing anything. All right, so we've, we've made it to the path. It was very frustrating to get here because we kind of had like a weird crash happen, but we are here. We, we know that the great beast is somewhere up this path, but we're, we're not gonna use the quest marker because like that kind of defeats the point of like hunting, right? We're trying to hunt the great beast, not follow the quest marker to the great beast. So we'll do it on horseback and we'll see if we can find it. This waterfall, it's so beautiful. What's that? What is that? Mage coat? Get our weapon out here, because that seems oddly suspicious to just kind of leave laying around. But we'll, I think we'll just put our horse here. Nah, we'll, we'll keep the horse, right? It'll help us go fast. You gotta go fast, right? Oh, oh, what's that? I just freaking missed. Ah. I haven't hit it once, so we're off to a good start, right? All right, we're we're switching to uh, to our exploding arrows. <laughs> what do we got? Elven fire? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Doesn't seem to know that we're uh, we're hunting it yet, though. So. <laughs> Come on, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Telly ho! We don't even know what its health is. There, it's dead. Oh! Well met, Hunter. Hi. Didn't I just kill you? And skillfully, too. I've been watching you for ages, it seems. You have the makings of a fine hunter. You may even be my champion. Perhaps. 
I mean, we, we do both have, uh... Um, are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Um... Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. But you must first do a service for my glory. Mm. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. That sounds pretty awesome, yeah. Um, it shall be done as you ask. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Excellent. Hey, cool. We get this uh, this white stag here too, right? Uh, let's see. It's twelve noon. Yeah, let's field dress it, right? Harvest the ingredients out of it, right? Buck antlers. Interesting. It's too bad you can't really do anything else with it. Do -do 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 all right, we uh, we can try skinning it, but we're just gonna dispose of it. <laughs> Let's go. Uh oh, there was a uh, leg there. See, egg. So we had to literally run down the elk, but with the uh, or the beast, the elk, but we killed it. Right? That was exhausting. Um. Didn't we already kill you? What? Ah, mercy. <laughs> All right, we're we're ta I guess we're taking these guys on again. We had killed these guys, no but Yeah, this game's doing really weird stuff when it comes to, uh... Yeah, okay. Nice boots. When it comes to NPCs... Super weird. But we'll take more stuff. Always happy to take more stuff. Huh. That actually, this is the way we're, we're supposed to be going anyway. So, person oh, looks another fight. What? Oh my god, there's a freaking skeleton! Guy punches a skeleton, and all of a sudden, it uh, it's raining. The heck, man, right? Morning star steals away clouds. Greetings, sister. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. Mm. All right, then. Yeah, well... So what are you the talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Mm. Give me some right now. No need to get so hostile. Just take it. Sounds like you need it more than I do. Then we go right up behind him. Oh, and let's see what we got here, right? So all 95% chance to steal. So we'll start our way from the bottom. I say we just kind of tap our way through, right? Da -da 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 -da. All the gold, all your moon sugar. Excellent. How, how many levels did we get out of that? Wow, at least two. Right? Nice doing business with you, friend. Nice doing business with you, Take too. A look. Um, oh, and he has one left, apparently. We didn't pick his pockets deep enough. Mm hmm. You know, scuba dealers. 
Oh, here, you know what we can do? We, we can uh, we can start practicing a little bit, right? Um, let's try, what, how much health do you think he has? Let's, let's do a crude one, see what happens. Damn you! Don't even think about it. So, what if we do two of them? Like, it hurt him, but it, it seems like he's kind of oh, regenerating, right? This could be a problem. Our build might not be practical. Here, I want to do a quick test. We're going to do an F5 here, and then let's take our strongest poison. Does 120 points of damage. And it didn't seem to do too good. I don't know if a, a pickpocket poisoner is going to be valid for our build, because we won't be able to get enough damage. So we'll un undo that, because it seems like it would be way easier to just strike him dead with the dagger. Hmm. How about a lingering poison, though? Let's try a lingering poison. Because I had a feeling this might be... the, uh... Nothing? Didn't do anything? I mean, we can just flat out murder him with a swing. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, we'll we'll reload back out because I wanted to see how that mechanic worked. We're still gonna murder him, but. Her blah. Because, you know, we can always use the snack for later. Excellent. I mean, not not so excellent. Also, it's raining, too. So we'll, we'll continue our way north. Ah, too bad, right? Whoa. Hey. Who are you? Hail, sister. I saw you walking there and thought you could use this. Good luck out there. <laughs> oh my god! That was amazing! He was That was a Thieves Guild member and he gave us some free lockpicks. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> we just got some free stuff from a thief. Nice! Very nice. Here's the path. Bones embedded in it. Nice. Here it is. Loaded man's grotto. Now I believe that we we start the cutscene. There's there's a cutscene that started the moment we enter there. So I do believe we are going to call the episode here. So in the next episode. We, I'm gonna decide if we're going to be going in or we're, gonna get, we're going to continue to Whiterun to get more help to get a recruit because it's raining. And if, if it's raining while we run in there, it's gonna be like miserable because the visibility will be so low. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of testing. We'll see what the best option is. And in episode 11, that's what we'll most likely be doing as well. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it hey. later. I'll pay you good. Don't, Don't interrupt my outro. Uh No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. What what did he give me? I didn't even see what he gave me. A, a dwarven sword of scorching. Nice. Okay. Wow. That was incredibly unexpected. Um 
I'm, I'm expecting that somebody else might be coming up to us in just a moment looking for it, but I don't see anyone. What the heck? Oh, did he find him? Yeah, there he is. Did you see someone run past just now? Uh, yeah, he went that way. Great, thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him though. I'm getting out of you think you can take me? There's somebody else over there. No more. I yield. I yield. <laughs> Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Here, allow us. We could use some dinner, right? Anyway. Keep that magic away from me. Oh! Mm-hmm. Great. Okay, well. What was that? Are we gonna attack right now? Why do I hear combat music? Well, he doesn't have much that we can take. <sighs> Alright, well... We'll run back up here. I'm... I'm very confused about what's going on. It appears that the game is glitching out. So, our outro... No, th okay, and there, we're not under attack. So thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be figuring out what we're going to be doing with uh, helping out her scene. So I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye, everyone. <laughs>